Hello, everyone. Thank you for being here and watching. Today, I would like to share a simple but effective way uh, of, uh, of hate massage with essential oil. So I hope you will find it useful and uh, you can practice uh, along with me as well. So before I start, uh, I want to make sure uh, everyone can hear me. So please give me a comment or like or say hi to me. My name is Ping uh, to let me know that you can hear me. Okay, please uh, let me know that you can hear me. Just let me check uh, because there can be a lag. So uh, I'll wait for more people to join before I start. And while you are waiting, please uh, give me, uh, say hi and tell me whether you can hear, hear me. All right. Um, okay, let's make a start, all right? So I hope everyone is feeling okay, you know, in this uh, COVID-19 uh, lockdown situation. So um, I would like to share this uh, head massage. So it's a form of self-care. So we need to, we should, um, yeah, all look after ourselves, our health. So um, with this, um, you know, head massage, uh, there are many benefits. So um, thank you, Irene, for giving me the feedback that you can hear. So uh, I'd like to yeah start uh, bef uh, before I, sh uh, I will be showing you how to do the head massage. But before I show you how, I'd like to show you, uh, you know, a few slides uh, to explain to you, um, you know, what's the benefit of head massage and why is it effective, you know, and also share with you some sample uh, example of uh, essential oil that you can use with your head massage to boost the effect. So if you don't have essential oil, not to worry, please uh, watch along and you can do it without the essential oil, but essential oil will really uh, boost the effect of the head massage. And last but not least, I will be showing you how to do the head massage. So this presentation should not be, uh, should not take very long, uh, maximum half an hour. So please, um, yeah, stay with me and uh, please give me feedback and say hi. Thank you. And actually tell me where you're from. You know, um, I like to make more friends and see where you're from as well. So, okay. Let's let's make a start and um, understand what's the benefit of uh, doing head massage. Uh, let me okay. So the key benefit I'm listing out um, around six key benefits. So first of all, the key benefit for head massage is that uh, when we massage our scalp, it stimulate the head for uh, the hair follicle, so it helps reduce the dead skin and also uh, activate the uh, follicles so that will promote the hair growth and reduce um, you know the hair loss so i've been having you know um uh you know uh, because i've been keeping long hair so i've used to experience uh, hair loss a very severe hair loss i lose a lot of hair and everywhere um you know around my house there's always you know, hair dropping on the on the floor. Uh, but since I started using, you know, doing the head massage and using essential oil with it, I I can safely say, I can confidently say my hair loss has been reduced by, you know, uh, more than half. Hello, Lynn. Hello, Irene. So that's, that's a key benefit of doing this head massage. Also, hair loss, we experience hair loss, uh, you know, due to different uh, reasons, you know, at, as we are aging, getting older, the hair uh, is getting weaker and, um, and the hair follicle is getting weaker as well. And also with hormonal change that can cause uh, hair loss and essential oil can help us uh, balance the, um, the hormone and also uh, stimulate uh, you know, uh, provide a healthy, promote healthy skin and healthy uh, hair follicle. 
And the next um, benefit for head massage is that it will improve the, head, the blood circulation onto our head and that will help with the skin detox and rejuvenation. You know, as we grow older, you know, the skin getting, uh, you know, uh, the blood is um, not circulating as quick as possible and onto our scalp. So hair massage can really stimulate the skin, bring the, bring, bring the blood to the surface of the skin and that um, go to the next one where the blood will provide oxygen to the head and also oxygen to the skin to help the skin uh, rejuvenation. And with more oxygen um, going to our head, it also improves our memory and our vision. I'll, I'll show you uh, later on uh, which acupuncture point will actually improve your vision. That's according to uh, the traditional Chinese med medicine. Also, the next one is it will help you relax the nervous system uh, because the essential oil uh, is you know, like it, it's very fragrant and each of the different type of essential oil actually provide different aromatherapy effects. So with that, um, it will also help you relax and um, stay calm. Also, uh, if, if people are prone to headache or migraine, you know, this is really good way of uh, combining um, essential oil and massage will help you relieve uh, the headache, uh, reduce it and also reduce the frequency of your headache and help you uh, actually, you know, min minimize the time you have the headache. Um, the last but not least, the key benefit of uh, doing head massage is that, you know, as we age, our face get droopy, you know, the skin get droopy and we, we, we tend to do uh, facial, you know, female, you know, we, we love to, you know, maintain our healthy skin on our face and we, we normally just focus on massaging our skin uh, on our face and uh, getting facial massage. But we neglected that, you know, our scalp is actually where the skin starts. So if we don't maintain a healthy scalp, our skin will start to, um, you know, droop and that will affect, uh, you know, the face as well. So uh, by uh, doing all this, uh, stimulating the scalp and helping the scalp stay, stay healthy, that will also help uh, tightening the skin and help, you know, like the healthy metabolic rate, like, you know, the regrowth of your skin uh, and that help uh, maintain your youthful look as well. So that's the key benefit of uh, doing head massage. And now, why does head massage work? Do you know that head massage is actually 10 times more effective than foot massage? You know, traditionally, we love getting foot massage. We go to manicure, pedicure, we get foot massage or the Thai massage parlor, you know, we get foot massage. And it's really hard to do it yourself. But with head massage, it's very easy for you to, you know, do it yourself. Um, so that's a key benefit. And why does it work? Because on our scalp, there are actually many, many acupuncture points, more than our foot. And also, there are a lot of meridian points. The, the line on this graph is actually showing the meridian points on our scalp. What is meridian point? Meridian points is actually the pathway where our chi or our energy flows. So the, the energy, according to uh, traditional Chinese medicine, our chi, our energy, life force actually flow along all these uh, meridian points. So by us massaging our head along the meridian points, that helps, uh, you know, move our energy, promotes blood circulation and, uh, you know, uh, help our chi move uh, smoothly. And that's one th benefit of head uh, why does it work? Why is head massage so effective? And also, why do we combine essential oil? So a lot of you may not know what is essential oil. So um, essential oil is actually a, the, the best part of the plants, you know, the extract, the concentrate from, uh, you know, not every plant, but some of the plants from the seed, from the flowers, from the uh, leaves, from the roof, from, from the raisin. Uh, so a lot of paths that we, we get the essential oil and 
the essential oil by massaging it onto our head, we absorb into our body and it actually stimulates our body, a part of our brain called the limbic system. The limbic system is very play a key role in in our brain function, in our memory, like, you know, when you smell something, it brings you back to a certain memory. So that's where, you know, it triggers the limbic system. And also the limbic system also control, you know, our physiological uh, functions such as breathing, heart rate, and blood pressure. So by doing this, it will regulate by massaging our head and by combining essential oil, it will help uh, regulate uh, regulate our blood pressure and in general promote general well-being. Um, so that's why uh, it's really effective. So next, I would like to introduce you to a few uh, essential oil that you can use uh, to maintain general health. Uh, you know. Uh, while you do the head massage. So depending on what uh, you know benefit you want to get out of doing head massage, I would highly recommend frankincense because frankincense has been used for thousands of years. Like uh, they've, the archaeologists found frankincense in, uh, in the uh, pyramid. So, um, you know, uh, it's been used for thousands of years. And it was even mentioned in the Bible where the three wise men actually gave frankincense to uh, baby Jesus when uh, baby Jesus was born. So frankincense is uh, really, when when you don't know what essential oil to use, you can rely on uh, frankincense uh, because it really is an all-rounder. It, it provides, uh, it promotes uh, general well-being and also it's very good for skin. Uh, the next one I would like to introduce or recommend is to use uh, uh, lavender. Lavender is famous, you know, it's very general. I, I think a lot of you would have heard of lavender and it helps, uh, you know, calm ourselves. You know, a lot of people diffuse it and love the, the smell. So by using lavender, um, it, we can get the nice smell, you know, on our head and uh, that will calm our system. And also it actually help reduce the irritation on our skin, like inflammation of our skin. And it also help us calm and improve our uh, sleep. So uh, to, today I'm going to use uh, uh, lavender in my demonstration uh, because now it's nighttime. And after I do this, uh, it will help me have a good night's sleep. Uh, the next oil I like to recommend is cedar wood. So cedar wood is known, uh, scientifically proven, like to help with hair loss, reduce hair loss, and help keep our skin healthy. So, and it's also very good uh, with calming our system and very good helping with sleep if you have sleep problem. So I highly recommend you um, uh, use cedar wood, like diffuse cedar wood or use it in uh, apply it on your skin to help you with sleep, uh, you know, better sleep quality. Uh, the next one that I like to uh, recommend is peppermint. If you are having, you know, a uh, breathing problem, nose blocked, uh, also like, you know, uh, having headache or after your lunch, you feel sleepy, you can't focus, you can't concentrate, or when your kids need to study and they can't concentrate, then uh, you can use uh, peppermint, you know, diffuse peppermint or use it in your massage, uh, you know, to, to improve the blood circulation to your head and actually uh, improve like your breathing and actually help focus. Uh, and, and actually wake you up. It's very invigorating. It's very uh, refreshing. So it's a good one to use during the day uh, to help you focus and invigorate and uh, help you uh, improve your memory and also breathing. So last but not least, I would like to, um, uh, all the previous oil that I recommended, they're all, uh, they're all like single oil from a single plant. This particular one uh, from doTERRA is called uh, DDR Prime, and it's a mix mix of multiple uh, oil, uh, including frankincense, uh, wild orange, lemongrass, and uh, clove, naioli. So a lot of um, so. 
doTERRA is a very uh, international well-known brand and it's also uh, they all their oil are scientifically uh, researched and proven to be effective uh, it's it's got the highest grade in essential oil grade so a lot of other uh, commercial uh, oil out there they are not regulated and they're not tested you don't really know what quality you're getting but with doTERRA you can trust that uh, they can prove that every batch is effective and potent and uh, safe and uh, pure there's no chemical being added so uh, it's safe to 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 apply on the skin and it's even safe you know, to be taken internally, like eat, like uh, you can put a few drops under your tongue and drink water, uh, you can ingest uh, and it's it's safe. So, um, so this particular oil will help with preventing your uh, DNA from the, the damage, like premature damage. And also when, you know, everyone's DNA has a lifespan and when, when the lifespan is up, you can... Um, you know, the, our cell will die off, right? So it will help with the normal healthy die off of your cell. So you all, everyone have heard of uh, cancer. And if you know how cancer is formed, it's basically your cell, you know, being abnormal is mutated uh, and, and damaged. So this oil actually will protect our DNA and it actually can actually uh, prevent uh, you know, reduce the risk of cancer. And it also helps with antioxidants, so it will protect your cell uh, and, and keep them healthy. So it's a really good all-rounder oil uh, for general health and keeping, you know, your uh, as a preventative measure. Okay, so uh, please let me know if I'm going too fast. Uh, and if you have any question, please uh, comment and I'll answer your question uh, as I see them, okay? Uh, so next, I want to show you this diagram uh, to before we start the demonstration of how we massage our head. I want to show you where is this meridian points and where are the key acupuncture points that we want to massage to actually promote the, the chi flow, the energy flow, uh, and, you know, to improve our health. So, you can see the main main uh, meridian line is actually uh, it straight down the middle, like in the middle of our skull, like this line. I'll, I'll point it um, using using a tool, like it's in the middle of our skull. So that is the main key uh, meridian. And next to it, there are two uh, also two line to meridian called the bladder. Meridian, but we don't need to remember all the name. We just need to know there are all this line, all this meridian uh, going down our head, and this is where we're going to massage. Okay, and also the other thing is I want to point out um, the key, the key acupuncture point that we want to massage also is at the base of our skull. You know, at the at the base of our skull. Uh, and just parallel with our ears, right? So parallel with our ears to the back, there's uh, a lot of uh, acupuncture point that we're going to massage today as well to help with our vision. So one of the acupuncture point here, uh, you know, number 10 there, the name uh, in Chinese is uh, Feng Zi Xie. So it's actually link tied to our eye, our eyesight. And when we massage it, it will help us uh, relieve the tiredness in our eyes and actually improve our vision. So that's a really good uh, acupuncture point to massage. But not to worry if you don't know where is the acupuncture point, where exactly it is. We'll just massage the general area at the back at the bottom of our skull. So that will make sure we cover all the points, right? So not to worry if we're not an expert, uh, we just general uh, massage the general area. So those are the area that I, I want to point out before we start uh, you know, the, the massage uh, demonstration. Okay, let's get on to, is there any question before I go on uh, with the 
with the um, the demonstration. Okay, if there are no question, I will uh, show you first uh, because we're using the you know the oil. So I'll show you how to prepare the oil for our massage. So I uh, I have an empty bottle here. I'm just gonna use the the cap, you know, the top of the the bottle. I always keep the empty bottle so I can reuse them and mix some oil. Uh, but this time I'm just gonna use the cap, right? And I'm gonna use the oil that I'm using tonight is the cedar wood and also lavender. That's very good uh, with keeping healthy, reducing hair loss, healthy skin, healthy scalp, uh, and also um, help us relax so we can have a good night's sleep. Okay, so what? how you prepare it is just put one drop of each of the um, oil. Don't worry if you put more than one drop, just roughly one to two drops, right? Just drop it into the, uh, the cap. So that's the oil in there. And then we have to always, when we put apply the essential oil on our skin, we need to always uh, dilute it because the essential oil is actually very strong, very powerful. So we need to dilute it because to reduce the irritation to our skin, uh, it can trigger some sensitivity. So to reduce the sensitivity, uh, we just dilute it uh, with some carrier oil. Carrier oil, you can use whatever carrier oil you have or you prefer. Um, so I, I like, so just let me um, show you a bigger one. Uh, you can choose um, sweet almond oil, right? Sweet almond oil uh, is generally being used uh, in a massage and also you can use it for your skin to apply on your skin or because I'm used applying on my head, I, I also sometimes use argan oil. Argan oil is very good for hair and also for, for scalp as well. Or you can use um, fractionated coconut oil. So this coconut oil is not greasy at all. It, it, fractionated means it the atom, the molecule has been broken down. So it's very small and easily absorbed into your skin. So, um, Today, I'm just going to use, uh, for my demonstration, I'm just going to use the fractionated coconut oil to dilute my essential oil. So I'll just take it, my cap with the essential oil already in there just now. So I'll just fill the cap with the, uh, with the coconut oil. Yeah, just fill it up like a few drops. Don't worry how many drops because the cap is quite small. Uh, maybe fill it up to the halfway of the cap and that's that's enough on the cap, right? Then we'll use cotton bud. So my cotton bud is quite big. If you have a smaller cotton bud, you can use two together. So you can hold, hold the two cotton bud like this so when you massage it into your hair, your scalp is faster and it uh, spread, you know, a wider area. So you just put your uh, cotton bud. I'll just use one for this uh, demonstration. So just dip it into the oil, right? And then just along the line where I show you earlier, the meridian line, you know, just, just do a zigzag pattern. Just go along, along the scalp. You know, like um, do a zigzag, you know, the line and then just uh, dip it into the oil if it's, you know, and then just apply on your scalp along the, the meridian line that I show you just now in the diagram. Uh, so I'll show you again so if you forgot. forgot. Uh, let's go back to the previous slide. So, you know, along the meridian line, we just apply the oil, you know, along the meridian line. Um, so, like so. You don't have to worry about... Hello, hello, uh, Wendy. Hello, Yetki, and hello, Meling. Thank you for watching. So, I hope you... 
are following along, you know, if you have the oil, you please follow along as as I'm doing this, you practice as well and see if you have any question. Because if you don't practice, uh, and later on when you come to practice, you might have a lot of question and then I'm not there. Uh, but if if you have question later on, uh, you are welcome to post uh, on on the post as well after this because this post will be recorded and will remain there for you to uh, to refer back in later on as well. So uh, just apply, right? So you should, uh, you know, finish it applying uh, on your hair. Okay, so that's done. So once you apply it all over, like, you know, the meridian line on your scalp, now we are ready uh, to, uh, hello, Suzanne. Um, so now we are ready to actually um, do the head massage. So it's very easy and very effective. So uh, see, now I'm, I'm going to demonstrate using uh, fingers because then it's easy. You don't need to buy any tools. Uh, if you have tools uh, like this one that I have, you can use it to, to massage your hair as well. So you can use this one. You can along the meridian line, just do a zigzag pattern and just, you know, to stimulate the skull. Uh, like so, or you can use the, the pointy end as well to just go along, you know, go along the line to actually stimulate the meridian line, like so. But I'm going to demonstrate uh, my preferred way, which is to use uh, our fingers, because by using our fingers, we, in one go, we, we're actually covering all the meridian line, right? So um, we're going to go along from the forehead to the back of the head in this motion, like just massaging, like just like scratching sort of uh, like so. Just go along the meridian line to the back of the head, like so. And we just repeat, you know, five to ten times. Uh, so to show you clearly, what happened is when you go to the back, I like to... Uh, do the circular motion at the back. So please uh, practice along with me. So just go, um, you know, like so, go to the back and then you do circular motion. At the back, your thumb will be facing down and then you can feel the bottom, like the base of your skull. And then you just do circular motion uh, along the, uh, the the acupuncture point that I pointed out earlier that will improve your eyesight. So along the base of your skull, there are multiple uh, acupuncture points. So you just run your hand in circular motion to um, stimulate the acupuncture point at the base at the base of your skull. Yeah, you can feel the base of your skull. Uh, just. Yeah, you can feel the base of your skull uh, when, when you apply the a little bit of pressure. So I can see a question from uh, Mary Claire, uh, and she's asking, uh, does it matter if you press and hold along the meridian line like a pressure point, or do you have to keep moving uh, the pressure around? So uh, to me, it's we want to stimulate both the meridian point as well as the acupuncture point. So, uh, so I prefer to just run my hand along the meridian line and then, uh, and then massage the uh, acupuncture point at the base. Uh, but like you can see in the diagram, there are some other acupuncture point along the front of the skull. So you can hold it or you can use a tool like this, like the pointy end, like to, you know, hold it or like, but, but this way you need to know, uh, you need to be very familiar as to where's the acupuncture point. Right. So for me, I don't want to, uh, you know, we're not professional. So let's not uh, worry about where's the point. So if we move our hand along, then we are uh, certain that we have covered all the different uh, acupuncture points and we are massaging them uh, and stimulating them. So and also uh, we do this, repeat this motion repeat it uh, five to 10 times. And I would recommend to do the head massage uh, five, uh, three to five times a week. 
uh, to see the maximum uh, you know benefit uh, and uh, yeah and if you're worrying about you know oily hair or things uh, I like to do it uh, before I go to sleep so uh, make it a habit before you go to sleep or I'm not sure how, how often you wash your hair so let's say you wash your hair three times a week um, so you do it just before you wash your hair let's say uh, the day before you wash your hair i like to do it at night before i sleep because i find that it really improves my sleep after i've done it and um, i do it before bed and then the next day when i wake up I, I left it you know i left the oil in my hair in my scalp and then the next day i will have a shower and i'll have a uh, wash my hair and then i'll wash it off uh, so that's a good way if you're worried about uh, oily hair. Uh, another way is that, um, you know, you can do it just before you wash your hair, uh, but make sure you leave the oil in there for at least half an hour for, you know, the oil to be absorbed and for you to get the benefit uh, of the essential oil. So, yeah, so basically we just do this motion along uh, the meridian line and then when we hit the bottom of the skull, we just do the circular motion along the base of our skull uh, and do that, uh, repeat that five to ten times. And then also not to forget um, to massage, like rub our ears, you know, along the ear, the outside of the ear, the ear loop, just rub it because there are also many, many uh, acupuncture points uh, on, on our earlobe. So just rub it, you know, rub your fingers uh, and you'll feel good. And depending on what you like, you know, whether you like uh, a strong massage or a light massage, then you, you apply the pressure according uh, to your preference. So you just do this and then, um, yeah repeat this there you have it so that's the simple technique that i would like to share today uh, for the head massage um, yeah if is there any other question um, please get in touch with me or my team you know via the our facebook page or for happy life uh, if you have any questions uh, after this or if you'd like to buy uh, some uh, essential oil or you already have some essential oil but you don't know how to use it uh, I welcome all your uh, questions and feedback actually please leave a message um, you know provide me feedback and also any suggestion any uh, tips and tricks and um, method that you like to know further you like to know more uh, so I can make uh, another live stream or video uh, to answer your question and suggestion Okay, thank you very much for watching. Uh, that's all for now. Have a great uh, evening and uh, take care um, and stay healthy and stay safe. Thanks. Bye.